good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome to the morning chat where I tell you what's on my mind in the morning time and and while I drive, okay? Um, until I, uh, well, anyway, it, when the scene changes, the scene will change, okay? Well, y'all, good morning, happy Tuesday, Taco Tuesday. So go out and get you some tacos today for lunch, all right? Anyway, um, good morning. Yesterday, I apologize. I went to do a video for the morning and I didn't have enough room on my storage on my uh, phone in which I do my morning chat. So I just didn't do it. And then I didn't do the ride home with Auntie because I had not done that because Monday was crazy not really crazy it was just a little bit overwhelming on uh, mondays at where i work is a pretty hectic time of of the week because i am doing the bookkeeping for from the weekend so um all you know like i'm doing two or three days worth of bookkeeping for you know on monday so boy but i made it through i made it through i made a couple of mistakes but i knew they were mistakes okay and why is that important the the fact that i knew that they were mistakes and i can bring them to my supervisor to fix is i knew it it's like i realized that after i made the mistake and I caught my own mistake. Well, that tells me that I'm learning, that I am getting pretty good at what I'm doing is when you start to recognize your own mistake, what you did wrong. So um, when you're starting to recognize, that means you can correct it because you know what you, the mistake you made. Um, so I'm kind of happy about that. Thank God for mistakes and thank God for recognizing my own mistakes. So that kind of goes into what I on my mind in the morning time. Another thing is that when you learn yourself, you also know like this is me or you learn something or you're learning something in life. This is how I am. Um, knowing is half the battle. And I believe that was the GI Joe there's a knowing is half the no that was planet captain planet because a lot of people don't know that they're this or they're that and what triggers them and whatever when you as you get older you begin to understand yourself and know yourself um you you start to want you start to recognize things um i'm gonna use something this is going to be a little bit of tmi especially with the guys because there i know guys don't like talking about um female situations but this is the best example I'm thinking of right now like when I was when I first started my menstrual cycle at the age that I did I was young okay so I didn't really understand it I really didn't um oh lord um I just saw a text message from Nathan to his family, to our family, uh, or maybe somebody. I don't know who it was, and it sounded like they need encouragement, and I'm going to have to go into encouragement mode, um, well, which is easy for me because I'm an encourager. Um, I can encourage somebody in the midst of my mess. You know what I'm saying? But at any rate, um, the more you learn yourself, the more you learn about yourself and who you are. Um, again, when I first started, I didn't understand it. I didn't know it. I didn't, you know, even though I was taught sex education in school, I still really didn't know my cycle. But now that I'm older, I, I understand. I know when, you know, oh, she's about to come on. I'm about to come on. I, I start knowing the symbols. I start knowing the, the the signs and wonders before she starts. Before she starts coming out. Yes, I call her. She's my aunt Flo. Okay, 
F L O W. You know what I'm saying? Because she be flowing. Okay? But either way, the older I got, the more I understand my cycle and when it should be coming on and when it doesn't come on. What caused it is to stop. Am I stressed out this month? Because I sure enough didn't come on my cycle. And I know I haven't been having sex. So I start to learn my cycle. I start to learn my body. And when it's, it's, it's one, I said, girl, you in danger, girl. Don't wear that white. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know? And, 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 and I, I know that. And as, it's the same thing with just living life. You began to know yourself. You start to know your triggers. You start to know what irritates you to uh, precisely. What irritates you, what you need to work on, okay? You know these things, so knowing is half the battle. Once you know it, you start doing the work. You know, going to therapy, uh, disciplining yourself like, okay, now. You know, now, once you start to know yourself, Two, you also get to know, you know when there's an attack and when there's a spiritual attack. Okay, no, no, I wasn't trying to be mean. This person wasn't trying to be mean or whatever the situation is. Hold up. Okay. This is a spiritual attack. That's one way I know. I know me and I know other people. I said, no, this is an attack. This is not repercussions. This is not consequences of something I've done. This is a spiritual attack. And then, you know, that's when... And I also want to employ in, in this next three minutes, too, is also knowing the Holy Spirit, also being very woke spiritually. Okay. I say that because a lot of people say, well, how do you make this work and how do you do this? And we humans love a, a three-step program or a 10-step program that tells us how to make a change. So sometimes, actually 90% of the time, every time, the Holy Spirit has told you what you need to do for yourself, Okay to make your relationship work, to make your whatever situation works. It is specific to you. That's why, and I'm talking to my saints, you know who you are, okay? That you need to be tapped into the Holy Spirit, okay? For guidance, okay? Okay, now, people love to be in my blind spot here in Arizona, okay? <clears throat> Um, but no, tap into the Holy Spirit. That is the key. Period. That's all I have for you all. Y'all have a wonderful day today. And I'll see you for the Ride Home with Auntie. Bye.